actually started shooting models in their houses in their own clothes. I didn't need a publication. I kind of just went and did the shoots myself. No hair, no makeup. And yeah, so now I kind of, that's what I do. Sibel Malinowski and I'm a photographer. So I started out shooting music photography and that's kind of how I got a name. And now I shoot a combination of music, fashion and advertising in equal part. And I always loved shooting fashion, but I really wanted to strip it back. So I started the first Model Maison shoot. The thing is, every time I do one, I don't know what I'm gonna get. I arrive, I have no idea what the house is going to be like and I have to make every shoot look as good as the previous one and sometimes I don't have much to work with, you know, like a girl might live in one room and I've got to try and find eight kind of stories within that one space. It was far more than just fashion photography, it was, it was like portraiture meets fashion photography and it was, it was like a, a visual kind of diary of these girls and their homes and how they live. Model Maison on Done is very stripped back and raw and, um, and almost quiet. We always had the trajectory to move to LA. We were actually going to move last year and I got pregnant. Sydney is a small city and now that Daniel and I have decided to stay here it's actually quite an exciting opportunity to actually strengthen what is in Sydney. I feel like people just work here to a certain point and then leave. Going to a new space, going to a new environment can kind of enrich you and, and instantly you're looking at things with new eyes. And I think there is a challenge in, in trying to find that that kind of um, excitement in the same place. My brother was a photographer, my father was, my husband is. It, I don't know, it just, I, I, lo I like that aspect about it. I like the couch. <laughs> and I've probably done about 10 or 15 of those shoots here in this living room, but each time it's different and each time it's just as exciting because I've never met them before. You never know what you're going to get. You never know what the light is going to be like. And I think, um, I guess that's the joy of photography is uh, there might only be small changes, but nothing is ever the same. Being brought up in this house, in this quite full on modernist house that probably led me to studying architecture. It's kind of like the granddaddy of design. And I thought I'll study that and then work my way backwards from there. And that's pretty much what I've done. Like I, I my architecture, feeds into my photography and I, I don't know whether I'd be a photographer if I hadn't have studied architecture. I think that the power of a space that you're in is, is often kind of overlooked. I, when I was studying you have to do like a, a year of, of an internship and so my brother ran a photo studio and I was like hey brother can, can I like work for you for cheap, but can you pretend that this is more of a design firm and then I was gonna go back and finish, like do my graduate degree in architecture. But uh, within the like second day of shooting with my brother, I was like, what, this is a job? This is insane. I, I couldn't believe how fun photography was. And, and 12 years on, I still find it so fun. Like every time I pick up a camera, Everything else is forgotten and I just can't think of a job that, that would give me that kind of satisfaction. Yeah, fun. That'd be great. Pretty, pretty cool.